Good morning. It's September 2nd. It's about 8.45. I'm at Mount Baker and I'm getting ready to do the lake and trail. It's about four miles out to the lake and it's out and back. At the moment we have clear skies, so it's looking good. Just looking back toward the parking. There's the zigzag road that will go up to Artist Point. Here's my view from the trail, this point. Most of the trail that I'm walking in right now is in the shade, which is nice. The car said it was around 51 up at the parking lot. So it's refreshing and a little cool in the shade here, which is nice. And so far, no bugs are out. Now the trail's opening up to more of a valley. Still a few wildflowers, even though it's at the end of the season. Purple asters, pink monkey flowers, and lots of mountain blueberries. a really pretty section this meadow area sun's out nice clear skies there's water flowing through here and they've done a really great job with the trail so that it's up above where the water's draining here's what the trail looks like good footing um, quite a lot of brush to both sides of the trail and since it's morning, we're walking into the sun. Looks like there's real clear skies, so. It's nice. I've just now reached the intersection of the Lake Ann Trail and the Swift Creek Trail. That means I've come in about 2.6 miles and we've got about 1.7 to go until we get to the lake. And there's another little creek to cross here. I'll flip the camera around. Still sunny, pretty. Just gonna walk right across this. A little bit here. There we go. And here's the view ahead as I'm going up a little bit on the trail. Here's my first kind of clear view of Mount Baker. So this part of the trail is through this kind of rocky field called the Talus Slope. And you can kind of see where the trail is. This time of year you could just follow kind of the dirty rocks where people have been walking. That's for sure. Okay, I've come around the corner from that rocky slope and those views of Baker, and I'm kind of
trying to see where the trail's going up ahead and over to the left by those trees. Here's a view of the trail I've been working on. Still have clear skies. 1B. Well, yesterday we did a hike to the Park Butte lookout and we had overcast skies, at least up at the top of the mountain was covered up. Today, a whole nother story. Fun to be out. And it's okay to go hiking by yourself every once in a while. I don't go on um, too long hikes or places that are too difficult or remote. There's people on this trail every five or 10 minutes, so I think that's okay. Well, it turned out to be a great day for hiking. And now that I'm in the sun and going up, 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 it's roasty toasty. But it's a really good workout. Refreshing, fun, beautiful, and I highly recommend it. Here we go. Up over the saddle and beautiful lake. Here is an up-close view of the amazing Mount Shuxin and the Wow Glaciers. I think this is where the trail ends for me, though it goes further along that direction for hiking the glacier or down this Swift Creek Trail maybe. Not sure, I'll have to check that. Probably hear the waterfall coming out of the foot of the glacier there. Um, this top glacier has waterfalls. I'll try to zoom in on that. Here is my lunch spot. I'm going to sit and listen to the water flowing from the glacier as many blueberries as I can eat, eat my granola bar, and then head back around the corner and back to the parking lot. Here's the beautiful lake, which you notice when you come over the saddle, but you hear the sound of the water falling from the glacier. So when I got here, that's what I had to check out first. Well, it's really pretty up here. I wanted to share why I'm making videos, putting them on YouTube, and basically to share with my family who doesn't live around here and who doesn't get out hiking like my dad and Lorraine. And also, I really appreciate other people that put videos up that show me what their hikes are like, what they do, where they go, and kind of gives me an idea of what I might want to try. And I also want to encourage other people to be able to get out and hiking. If it's more known about what the trail's like, what they can expect, you know, get a map and get out there. And I just like to share what it was like out here on this particular day when I came out. So thank you for watching. One last video before I head back down the trail. Well, I've come back down to the meadow area. That was about 
1.7 miles or maybe two because I went past around to view the glacier and um, Mount Shuxon. So I'd say two miles. Uh, took about an hour coming down and now we're going back through the flat area. Well, I'm just about back to the parking lot. So I think it was, ended up being a nine mile hike and I took about three hours on my way in and then on the way back it'll be about two hours and ten minutes and I recommend the hike it's beautiful there's a lot of gravel and rocks that you have to walk on so keep that in mind and I'd also recommending starting as early as possible in the day because it's probably only 75 or 80 but it's really hot on these exposed areas so have have a great day and happy hiking.